Hello everyone, my name is Heather and this is my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be telling you about the MLA Style Center. Now there's lots of places to get information about citations. There's places to find out about MLA, APA, Chicago. The main thing that's very important to remember as a student, teacher, librarian, if you're working with students, is to always remember that there's more than one style. In high school and middle school you might be doing MLA more often, but when you move into or are moving into college, know that there's more than one citation style. There's MLA, yes, but there's also APA, Chicago, Turabian, and depending on what you're studying will depend on what style of citations you're going to need when you cite your works. The MLA Style Center is a really nice place to go and find out specifically about MLA. This is a place where you can go to style Dot mla dot org, and you can find out about works cited, a quick guide, that's where we're going to go in a moment, teaching resources for librarians as well as your teachers, instructors. You can ask questions about MLA. They've got a really nice copy of the MLA Handbook, 8th edition, for only 15 bucks. Not that I'm selling or working for them, just letting you know. They also have free webinars, so on and so forth. So you can check all of that out. But what I want you to see is the works cited. Because if you click on the works cited page, it's going to give you a really nice rundown of everything you need for MLA citations. It's going to tell you the core elements such as author, source, the title of a container, which is your journal, your book, the container that something comes in. It's going to take you through what a container is, contributors, version, all the way to location. The nine things you need for the elements of an MLA citation. It's going to talk to you about containers, what they are, where your information comes from, as well as a practice template. And this is a really cool, important part. If you click on the practice template, this is actually going to take you through what an essay or a part of a book looks like. It's going to show you the author, source, container, all the information, and then down here at the bottom, what the final citation would look like. If you click on the next example, it's going to show you a video on a website. It's going to show you the title, the container, the contributors. It's going to skip the information that you don't need or isn't available for that type of item. And it's not even going to show you on the page where you can find those things. This is a really useful tool and it shows you all this stuff and gives you the final citation. And it gives you example after example. So this is a journal article from a database. So if you were do using Academic Search Complete, which I have a video for, if you're using Opposing Viewpoints, which I have a video for, this is going to show you where to find all that stuff. So again, author all the way down to publication date and the search location and the example. So they give you like three, four different examples, really nice ones, popular ones that we use in all of our different styles, specifically focusing on MLA. Really great tool, really great location to look at. Highly recommend checking out MLA Style Center. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and I'll have more videos for you soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day.